This is one where we've also gotten a lot of requests. Folders. As people are downloading more and more apps, they're having to flick from page to page to page to find them. They want to organize them. They want a better way to organize them and a better way to find them. And folders fit the bill. And uh, rather than talk about it, let me just show you what they look like. We came up with a really beautiful implementation of folders. So let me go to my second page over here full of apps. And I want to make a folder with games in it. I have several games. And it'd be nice if I could put them in one folder to keep them all together and make it real easy to find them. So what I do is I just push my finger on an app, just like I do to move it. They start to jiggle. And I just drag one app on top of another. And it instantly makes a folder. Right? Now, it also automatically names the folder based on the category that these apps came from from the App Store. I can rename it, anything I want. But if I don't want to bother, I just use the name that it intelligently selects. And that's folders right there. So let me put a few more apps in. I can just drag apps in there. And you can see the icon actually changes as I drag apps in. Right? So now I've got a folder with my games in it. And there they are. And I just tap on one to launch it. I can drag this around anywhere I want. right? And I can have as many folders as I'd like. I can also even, uh, let me go ahead and uh, make space in the dock. I can even put a folder in the dock so that I have it. Now, wherever I am, whatever home page I'm on, I've got my games with me. Right? Really nice. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show you, it's not really about folders, but it's about the, uh, it's about the home screen, which is the ability to change the wallpaper. Um, it's really nice. So let me go into settings and wallpaper. And I've got a camera roll with some, some uh, uh, wallpaper on it. And I can just change it very easily. I can say, let's pick this one. I could set the home screen to this or the lock screen or both. So I'm going to just set both to that. And now you can see I've changed my wallpaper. Right, oops, sorry. And uh, again, you can see my folders right there. I can use multitasking to just go right back to settings exactly where I left. Uh, let's pick denim. There we go. And again, folders. And right back where I left again. And uh, let me pick one more. So there you go. And that's how easy it all is. So that is folders. An incredibly great drag and drop UI with intelligent naming. And you used to be able to keep, you used to be able to see 180 apps uh, in your phone over those 11 pages. If you replaced every one of those with a folder, it's now over 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> so for the person that likes to download a lot of apps, we have a solution. So that is tentpole number two, folders. We are adding iBooks. Our sixth temple is Game Center. And this is a developer preview in iPhone OS 4. Gaming is extremely popular on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. In fact, we have more than 50,000 game and entertainment titles on the App Store.
And let's compare that to the competition. If you look at dedicated gaming devices, like the Sony PSP and the Nintendo DS, we just blow them out of the water with more than 10 times the number of game and entertainment titles as either of them. Well, we want to make gaming even better on the iPhone. So we are adding a social gaming network. This allows you to challenge your friends to games. This is what it looks like when one of your friends is inviting you to play a game. We also will do automatic matchmaking. So if you're playing a game and it requires four people to play, we'll automatically find three others of a similar ability to you in that game and put you all together into the game. You can compare how you're doing against your friends and against the world with leaderboards. And you can see how you're progressing through a game and compare yourself against your friends with achievements. So Game Center, it's a social networking game, a social gaming network where you can invite your friends, match make, compare yourself with leaderboards and achievements. It's a preview in iPhone OS 4, and it'll be available for everyone later this year. And that is Game Setter, which is our sixth tentpole. I'd like to hand it back to Steve.